New data shows decreased employment and production in eastern Kentucky coal for the second quarter of 2015. The industry employs an estimated 5,889 people, following cuts to 10.6 percent of the workforce in the region. We spoke with industry leaders and lawmakers about what the numbers mean for the future of the mountains. Eastern Kentucky coal employment is at a fraction of the level it was five years ago when more than 13,000 people worked in the industry. Still, industry leaders say the second quarter losses are not as severe as the region has seen in the past. I know this news may seem dire for Eastern Kentucky, but I think people need to realize that we're still mining millions of tons of coal in Eastern Kentucky. It's still finding a home at the market and still creating electricity all over the southeastern United States. Eastern Kentucky's coal fields produced about 7.3 million tons of coal in the second quarter, a decrease of more than 5 percent, although a few counties actually saw increases in production. State Representative Fitz Steele says the state has seen a decrease in coal severance of about $50 million since 2013. He says the Commonwealth is dependent on coal for cheap energy. Industry will leave the Commonwealth of Kentucky if the power bills continue to climb. Then what are we going to do? The rate we've got right now in unemployment's nothing what we'll see without coal. Steele and others blame federal regulations designed to protect air and water quality for the historic downturn. Hopefully our next president will be someone who thinks differently about coal, differently about the way we create electricity in this country, and our hope is someone we can work with to see the benefits of our industry and not just constantly being attacked from new regulations. Assuming no more mines are idled this year, Kentucky is on track to mine less than 64 million tons during 2015, the lowest total since 1960. The data was compiled in the State Energy and Environment Cabinet's quarterly coal report.